I want to talk through some terminology that I certainly would love to learn more about, um, and that is financial ratios. So um, I'll go through some of those terms and, and hopefully learn something myself, uh, starting with a current ratio. Uh, what is it? What is its implications? Yeah, we talked about the current section of your balance sheet a little bit ago. So that's going to be that top section of, you know, the, the inventory and liabilities that are all due within one year or can be liquidated in one year. So what does that ratio mean? What does it look like? So basically, it's just your current assets over your current liabilities. So do you have more current assets than you have current liabilities? That's the key component right there. So um, we call that the working capital position uh, and the current ratio. So typically, we want to see a current ratio, obviously, over one. We want to make sure that you have more current assets than you have current liabilities so that you have enough inventory, cash, uh, or anything on hand to be able to pay all your debts that are due within the next year. So obviously with the, the farmers, they have an annual crop. So they're going to be generating cash flow all the time when it comes to that thing. But is there any point in time where they do not have enough on hand to be able to pay what they owe over the next year? So that's something that a lot of lenders and a lot of bankers sit down and look at. That's a key component when they're doing their analysis. So obviously the higher the number, the better. Uh, you know, the general guideline is, you know, about 1.25 to one. So we want to make sure that you have you know, at least 25% more assets on hand than you have of any liabilities due in the next year. So this is you know, a major cushion. It allows a lot of operations to you know, do things they need to do on an annual basis with the, what we've seen in the, uh, the volatility of the input prices this last year. Being able to react quickly when you get the opportunity to buy something that you feel is a fair price or that you've been offered to make sure that you can take. Um, having that cash on hand or having a good working capital position allows you to do those things. So farmers need to definitely take a look each year. Um, what is their working capital position? That's a key component they want to look at when they're doing their balance sheet and doing their cash flow on an annual basis. So if you do have um, times like we see right now, we have high input expenses and you might see a negative cash flow over the next year. That's not the worst thing in the world as long as you have enough working capital to survive. Uh, you know, farmers have been through tough times. They've been through tight times. Do they have enough equity on their balance sheet and enough working capital on hand to be able to, to stomach a tough year? Gotcha. Uh, so what is a debt to asset ratio? Yeah, the debt to asset ratio is very similar to the current ratio, but it takes the entire balance sheet into account. So how many assets do you have versus how many liabilities do you have? So looking at, do you have more assets than you have liabilities? Most farmers do. Obviously, they have a lot of you know high dollar assets with the real estate and the equipment that they have on hand. So what does this, balance, or this ratio really tell us? Um, it tells us what the viability of that operation is long term. So if you have plenty of equity <coughs> in your balance sheet, um, you can stomach a tough year or two. You know, you have the ability to work through uh, any tough times that come ahead. Um, and it means that you're basically building your retirement account. So the more equity that you have in that operation, uh, the more flexibility it gives uh, to your operation, um, the more viability it gives to it long term. And it gives you a lot of options to do what you want to do, whether that's you know, accomplish your goals, buy real estate, look at a number of different things that you're trying to do uh, going forward. And it really tells a picture of the financial health of the operation. Awesome. Well, um, I really appreciate you going through and answering all of these questions for us. This has been super helpful and informative. Uh, but where can farmers learn more about financing through FBN? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we have our website, fbn.com uh, slash finance. So that's where they can go to uh, our finance page, learn about the other products and services that we have available. We have a team of 28 lenders uh, standing by ready to talk to any farmer or operator that wants to, to go through some of these scenarios. We've got a very skilled team, uh, very experienced to be able to talk through a number of these scenarios and work through balance sheets and uh, budgeting questions that these farmers uh, have on an annual basis. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, TJ. And uh, this was great. All right. Thanks, Sunday.